today we're going to learn how to add PlayStation games to your RetroPie emulation station on your arcade one up. Let's do this. What's up guys? So, thanks for watching Arizona Arcade Heroes. We kind of have a little bit of a chill out video here, kind of relax, but we're going to add some PlayStation games to our Retro Pie on our Arcade 1UP. So, I'm assuming you've already connected your Retro Pie to your Wi-Fi network through your Raspberry Pi. So, you're going to go to cdromance.com and then on the right-hand side, you're going to go to PSX to PSP eBoots. Now guys, there's literally hundreds of games on here. Um, there's 42 pages of games. Pretty sure every single PlayStation game ever made is on here, but they're formatted in eBoot format, so they will actually go right onto your Raspberry Pi. Now I'm gonna pick a game here. Let's see what a good game to pick would be. Let's go with Wu-Tang Clan. Gotta go with the Wu-Tang. So we'll go to Wu-Tang Clan, and then you see these pages are pretty helpful. They've got screenshots of the game. So you can kind of see what it is if you're not sure what type of game it is but this one here is 535 megabytes so we're going to grab that it's going to download in zipped up format as a rare so we're going to let that download it should go pretty quick i have super fast internet here so but anyways guys there's there's so many games on here and if you're like me i grew up playing playstation and uh you know i didn't get to play all these games i, I only had like one or two games a year christmas birthdays that sort of thing but uh, let's go ahead and connect to our Raspberry Pi through the Wi-Fi. We're going to go to network and type in backslash backslash retro pie. That's going to connect to our arcade one up. We're going to go to our PSX folder. You can see I've got tons of games in here already. Um, they're going to go in in the PBP format after we unzip it. So let's check our download. It's just about done here. So ding, 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 ding. Just kidding. It's done. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and go to our download of Wu-Tang Clan we're gonna unzip this guy oh don't pay attention to my spider-man pictures on there sorry about that So we're gonna seven zip this guy here and when you open up the folder you kind of want to go in a little bit you don't need to download the whole thing just go into the eBoot and extract that I'm gonna put it on my desktop just to make it simple once it's once it's extracted this should be pretty quick it should only take about five or ten seconds then we will go back to our desktop and uh, guys when I did this the first time not all the games worked um, about 80% of them work there are some of the PlayStation games that don't work so it's just kind of a matter of trial and error you know you've got to figure out which ones do and which ones don't but they're very easy to download and it's a very quick process so let's put our eBoot right there now the next step we want to do is you're gonna need a wheel and a snap for this now that's the like the demo of the game that shows up on your interface on the arcade one up and then also the logo when you're spinning through the wheel for the game so you're going to type Wu-Tang Clan logo PNG and then you see I've got a PNG folder here or PNG picture here of Wu-Tang Clan it's got the black checkerboard background so we're going to grab that and put it right next to our game now we've got our logo and then I use um, a program called Bandicam to screen capture um, it's pretty easy it's free so you can download that and it will capture videos um, so it's it's a great program to use you can capture a, a lot of different uh, video types online with it YouTube we're gonna go to Wu-Tang Clan PSX gameplay and that's gonna give us our little demo video of the game so that when we go to it on our screen on the arcade one up we know what we're doing so here is some gameplay for Wu-Tang Clan. So I'm gonna go ahead and capture some video from the gameplay using Bandicam. So you need to do that too. I usually only do about 30 seconds. You know, um, it'll let you select where you, you know where you want the screen to record. So go ahead and set that up, and then we will capture our video of Wu-Tang Clan. Here we go. All right, guys, so we have our logo and our video and our game all right here. So when you go over to the ROM section on your PlayStation, you'll see that's where the PBP folder goes. So you're going to drag that game over into that folder. 
and that should take a minute to load up. And then inside the wheel, you're gonna put your logo so you know which game it is. And then inside of your snap, that's where you're gonna put your recorded video from YouTube with the game footage. So let's go over to the arcade machine and figure out how to get this on the machine so we can see what it looks like. Here we go. All right, so I am at my arcade one-up machine with my RetroPie running, and I am in attract mode. I keep it in attract mode a lot of the time, but you're just gonna hit tab on the keyboard, and then you're gonna go up to where it says emulators, and you're gonna scroll all the way down. There's a ton of emulators on this particular image that I have, but you're gonna go to Sony PlayStation and hit enter, and then you're going to go down to generate collection ROM list. And when you do that, it's gonna override what you already have in there and it's gonna actually make that game show up on your wheel so that you can see if it worked. So then we're gonna go back into our consoles and we're gonna go into PlayStation and then we're gonna see if our game's in there. So let's find out, here's PlayStation. And then I've got a lot of games in mine already, but let's go down to W and see if we see our game in there. And there it is. Wu-Tang Clan with our video that we took and our logo and the game is on there and ready to play. So there it is guys, it's just that simple. So I encourage you to go to CD Romance and check this out. And you know, basically you can choose whichever games you want and load them onto your system and have a lot of fun with this. Um, um, if you're running your system through emulation mode and not through attract mode, I believe the games will just show up on there automatically. It's only in attract mode that you have to use the keyboard and hit tab to go in and find it and update your ROM list. But um, there it is, guys. So please leave any comments below and ask any questions if you have any. I just I had to go through a lot of trial and error to make this work on my machine, but I love it and I play the PlayStation games all the time. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please help me out and like and subscribe so that I can get to more viewers on this. I appreciate it and uh, have a great rest of your day, guys. We're out. In the rain or in the snow. In the rain or in the snow. Got the, got the funky flow. Got the, got the funky flow. In the rain or in the snow. In the rain or in the snow. Got the, got the funky flow. Got the, got the funky flow. All you ever need is to be nice and friendly. All you ever need is to be nice.